be trolls. So, check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. Let's eat her. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Of course, it's just an actual brownie, but. Trolls. Dude. Trolls. Dude. Dude. Dude, trolls. Dude. Oh, shit. Mm. Dude, I'm totally gonna change the calendar. Dude, that won't be as high. Dude, dude, okay, man, dude, 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 dude. Actually, I'm not stoned, but uh, I saw trolls. Um, my calendar is on the ground. Nah, fix that later. So I saw trolls, and um, I brought a brownie into the trolls movie. <laughs> nah, it was from Mrs. Fields. Uh, it was it was a cookie. It was not that kind of brownie, but I pretended it was. Anyway, it was a sugar high. So um, <laughs> yeah, th this movie is a total trip. The uh, you know, like the Wizard movie is a trip too, but in a different way. Like the guy's hands and hands coming out hands that was trippy and all the weird trippy stuff in the wizard movie um dr strange but this was uh the trolls movie based on the toy line uh from the 80s the little troll swedish troll guys um premise of the story and there will probably be some minor spoilers because kind of got to explain the story um <laughs> unlike with the other one the trolls are these little creatures that apparently every year on Trollstice are eaten by the Boggins. Uh, and, uh, and at one point they all escape, led by the king. Troll king. Dude looks like the Lorax. So they're running along and he escapes and, uh, and, uh, he, he helps them escape and the little, the little, his little Moppet child escapes too. And, uh, and then uh, the, the Boggins, there's a King Boggin who, who is basically like the bad guy steward from Lord of the Rings, uh, and, his, and his son, who is basically the bratty kid from Toy Story. Uh, so this movie is actually similar to Toy Story 2 in a lot of ways. Uh, sort of these bad guys collect them to do horrible things to them, and then they have to escape. Um, same idea. Uh, but, 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 yeah, uh, also Toy Story 1, for that matter. Uh, the, uh, there's some similarities also to the animated Brady Bunch show back in the day, including one of the songs. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the Trolls jumps 20 years later, after the prologue, and we meet up with the, the girl, Troll, who's now a princess, and the king is still around, and he's not what he used to be. And she's uh, happy-go-lucky and stuff. Um, she's sort of a cross between Rainbow Bright and, and the, uh, the Care Bear leader. <laughs> kind of the same idea. Uh, she's just ridiculously, like, cutesy. And, of course, you have to have a negative sort of guy in there who is not cutesy. So you got Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I'll go into the comparison stuff for the other thing later. But uh, for, for, suffice it to say, the the, uh, the casting was good. Um, the the movie is very colorful and cheery, and even the stuff that isn't colorful is cheery. Uh, it's it's kind of intense when the uh, bad guys want to eat them. And the bad guys are gross, but they do have more personality at times than many of the trolls. 
uh, one of the trolls, uh, apparently the trolls uh, fart or poop glitter, which uh, which is weird that they poop things like in Hop, funny, years ago, I, ho I Hop, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not good because one of them is all covered in glitter and he's auto-tuned, so he's basically covered in poop. Yeah. Maybe he's a German troll. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, a Japanese or Chinese troll. It's one of the trolls that likes the shiza to be covered all over and yeah. I'm not saying they all would do that, I'm saying that that's a thing that happens sometimes. Some of the fringe people do that. Would not recommend that. That sounds pretty gross. Yes, this did not become two girls in a cup or something. It's not become an internet meme. Trolls are an internet meme though. So the story going on with uh, the trolls doing crazy stuff. And, and, uh, yeah, so, so, basically, the, 20 years earlier, the chef lady, who was essentially Gargamel from the Smurfs, but a lady, uh, she's kicked out of Trollland, or kicked out of Bergenland, and, and she comes back 20 years later when they're having a big party, because the, they decided to have this really crazy party, and, in doing so, alert the Bergen lady. Even though she's been running around in the forest for 20 years and she hasn't found them. And they've been having these parties constantly every year in honor of the, the solstice. Because they haven't been eaten for 20 years. Um, the, the trolls are then kidnapped and uh, troll-napped. And then um, the girl and, and her friend, the, the sad guy, sort of flipped the emo girl, emo guy thing around and made an emo guy. Uh, they, they go on an adventure to try and get their family back. It's a little bit like The Incredibles as well, you know, think about it. A lot of other movies thrown in here. Uh, the Smurfs, a lot. It's a lot like The Smurfs. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you kind of have to be high on sugar to enjoy this movie. It's also like Wreck-It Ralph. Think about it. You have this sort of surly, brooding, bad guy character who played by Ralph, and you have the little Candyland girl. It's the same idea. But yeah, uh... <laughs> Of trolls. But he's also Grumpy Smurf from the Smurfs. He clearly is Grumpy Smurf. Grouchy Smurf. And he's also Gr Grouchy the Care Bear as well. Sunshine Bear or whatever. But yeah, um, so yeah, they're doing all that stuff and doing adventures. And uh, they go to the Boggin Village to rescue the, um, the ones that have been taken away. And when they get to the Boggan village, they discover that there's this internal thing going on with the, uh, this maid. She's a helping helpmaid servant who wants to become the uh, concubine of the king. Girlfriend, I guess you'd say, of the king. You know, it's a kid's show. They, they say concubine. A king, yeah, a consort. Um, but he doesn't know she exists. And so the trolls offer to help her get to the king dude, who is a young, he's supposed to be a young guy, well he's in his 30s. But yeah, they're all, oddly enough, they're not little children, they're in their 30s, and the actors playing them are in their 30s, so it actually kind of works. Um, anyway, the, um, that's what's interesting about it, uh, <laughs> early 30s, but the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the troll guys are also very heavy set. Uh, so there's this odd sort of, I don't know how they would be if they're not eating eating anything for 20 years. But anyways, the, the trolls, the witch, the witchy sort of cook lady wants to cook the trolls. There's a lot of spoiler um, um, action going on. They have a, a feast. Uh, they're about to cook them and then other things happen to them that leads to our heroes eventually saving the day. Spoiler. Of course, the hero saved the day. It's a kids' movie, uh, but but yeah, there's. Um, I won't tell you how all of that goes about, but I will tell you that uh, that we're kind of um, got a cat up here. Knock the camera over. Get over there. It's a cat. Uh, yes. So the trolls. Then the. Uh, so the trolls. 
yeah, I can't tell you much more about it and give it well away. Very colorful movie. It's a musical similar to how Prince of Egypt was. Uh, well, it's not like Prince of Egypt, but it has musical. It's a musical. It's trying to be Disney. Trying really hard to be Disney. There were some emotional scenes. There were family and friends and lovey scenes. There was the true colors scene was really cool. Um, they all turn gray and then they come back to their colors because he discovers his true colors. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that the, the um, but there, but yeah, so it's so there's a lot of song and dance, disco songs, 80s songs, other songs couple of original ones, one in which even Justin Timberlake didn't even know when they put it in there. That was an original um, by someone else. Uh, I think Timberlake, you remember him from the Disney Channel. Yeah, he was a band guy, popular like teen heartthrob 15 years ago. <laughs> anyway, so um, not anymore because now he's like almost 35. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, back then he was like in his early 20s, so he was like playing a, a teenager and he really was older. Which is why he was like handsome and, and built and finished growing and all that. It's because he was like in his 20s. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it was like, uh, yeah, it's always amusing when they have like, you know, like these teen comedy like high school musical things and and they cast, they, they'd done this in the 80s too, it wasn't just now. And, the millennial generation. They did it in our generation too. They had 90210 with Luke Perry. He was 26. Pilot. They had Back to the Future where Michael J. Fox was 22. Karate Kid where Ralph Macchio was 23. He's not even a kid. He's the karate adult. But yeah, so they, they did that even then. But yeah, it's like, oh, look at this person. They're so advanced for their age. And we're like, no, they're not. They're actually 20. Um, but, but yeah, uh, the cat's back up there. But, um, yeah, so that's Trolls. And now, I think... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think I will go into... Uh, I had I had watched before doing this review. Stone Gremlin Productions did a report on it. They had Brad and, and Jillian. <laughs> and they were talking about the film. Uh, I wasn't there with them. I was just watching their video. I couldn't be there with them. I live 800 miles, 900 miles, 10... A thousand miles from, maybe not quite a thousand miles. From, that is, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, so it's it's unlikely that I could be on their show. But anyway, they they had some they had some scenes that they were guessing on because they didn't pay attention. <laughs> One in particular, there was a scene where the two villains they thought that they allegedly had died because apparently they didn't stay for the end credits. They, they thought they had, they had died, the villain, oh, the spoiler, the villains had died by way of uh, the, the flaming barbecue scene. If, actually, no, they didn't. Stay for the end credits, and they pop out of the thing. They're not dead. But then, immediately afterward, a monster mountain thing opens up, and, yeah, they die. But they don't die by fire, they die by something else. So these two bad guys that are in it. It's a kid's movie. Yeah, they, they die, but not by fire. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, they, they thought that maybe a better choice for the emo guy would have been one of the other older actor dudes of, of the gener millennial generation other than Justin Timberlake. But I think Justin Timberlake works because, as that character, because he's not a true emo, he's a poser emo. He's only one because he thinks that society's ostracized, and when it hasn't, and and he's not really a yeah. If we had somebody like say a Buscemi character or of a darker, tormented character like Statham or something, it wouldn't work because he would be scary. You don't want to make the you don't want to make the gothic hero scary. You want to make them sympathetic. <laughs> it would be awesome if Buscemi, if some one of those guys was in something like that. I don't think they used Buscemi, they said someone else, but... No, no, you don't want to scare the children, senseless. Uh, there's enough weird imagery in this that you could be, and... And they are right about one thing, if... I don't, I don't get stoned, I was pretending to be stoned. But, if you actually were inclined to get stoned and watch this movie, like on video... Oh, sh you probably shouldn't! 
<laughs> you would be like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, yeah, don't do that. But seriously, the stoners are going to love this movie. Who need colors, man? It's too much. Ah. But yeah. Um. So, so, yeah. Trolls. Uh, some other thing. They've showed a couple of other previews that really weren't exciting. I'm not going to recommend the previews. Uh, oh, yeah, Power Rangers. They showed that one again. Um, they showed it, that with the other the other movie, too. That Power Rangers remake looks like Chronicle, but with Power Rangers in it. it really does. And, it, and I don't think that Max Landis has anything to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, Chronicle ripped off the end of Akira, but... <laughs> Which he acknowledges. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I totally do that. Uh, they, they ripped off the hospital part at the end of Akira. They didn't rip off the whole end of Akira. They couldn't have. Because Akira has a inflatable like, thing. Inflating godlike entity. He didn't quite do that. But the hospital scene, yeah, they ripped off Akira. But in this movie, they ripped off the Smurfs. They ripped off the Smurfs. H.R. Puffin stuff from back in the day, that's one of the things they picked up on. Definitely. Uh, to an, well, to an extent, yeah. I mean, they didn't have a magic flute that talks. In it. They did in the Smurfs and the magic flute, though. It is interesting, though, that the movie is, is likely meant for, for little girls, not for boys, really. Um, <laughs> I don't really think, it, although, although some of the scary boggart imagery, I guess, is meant for girl for boys. But yeah, all the cutesy scrapbooking jokes and stuff, that's for girls. So it's sort of, yeah, more of a nostalgia trip than anything else. If you happen to have remembered the Trolls cartoons and books from back in the day in the 80s. I'm surprised they went back there and did that. Um, 